Every fucking time when I say that I don't want to make a video about something, I end up fucking doing because I end up having more to say than I normally end up fucking doing. And I kept saying it, right? Because I got into a call last night with Pedro and some of the other guys, some people that I've mentioned before in videos, even Cabal when he was watching the fight on stream. Obviously, he couldn't fucking show it, and he couldn't play any audio, because if he did, the stream would get taken down. But regardless, he was still reacting to the fight. I was in the call with him on stream, but you can't hear me, because obviously we have some friends in there who are going to say some pretty unhinged shit. <laughs> so that just wasn't going to happen and fly by by any means. But you know what? It's whatever. I was mainly there to have a conversation with my friends and, ha and have a good time. That's all I cared about. That's all I wanted to do. And hopefully what I was going to get out of the experience was... At least Mike Tyson putting his heart on the line, putting his pride on the line, his heart on the table, and just duking it out with Jake Paul and having a decent fight. But you know what? That's not what ended up fucking happening, because even before then, when we were just watching the undercards, poking a little bit of fun because we weren't really all that interested, and we didn't really know about the stories of the fights until later when my buddy Josh ended up getting a call from his girlfriend, started explaining the fights between the two, uh, the two women who were fighting last night, uh... We, you know, we, we didn't really care, though. We were mainly watching it for the Tyson fight. That was all that we actually gave a shit about because we wanted to see Jake Paul lose because we don't really like the guy. But immediately, the night starts off with fucking problems because it starts working off fine. The Netflix stream is, is perfectly fine because it was it was being streamed on Netflix. That was where we were going to watch it. And I was watching it. Some of the other friends were streaming it on the, on the Discord call. But you know what? I was already, like, not going to watch the stream anyways, but my buddy wanted to come over. He fucking called me. Literally wasn't even going to be planning on actually watching the fight because I didn't give enough of a fuck to actually watch it because I already knew what was going to fucking happen but you know what when he decided to call me and say that he was going to come over and watch the fight with me you know what I gave I gave the I gave him the benefit of the doubt right maybe we were going to have a decent time we were going to laugh at some shit we were going to see it maybe a decent halfway decent fight and you know what it wasn't going to be that bad of a time because I normally like hanging out with my friends I always have a good time hanging out with my friends but unfortunately that's not what ended up happening because as soon as he gets here and as soon as we start watching the stream on Netflix it works out fine and then Netflix decides to shit the fucking bed because too many people are trying to watch the fight all at once and it completely craps itself so the stream is constantly fucking buffering and you can't actually see what the what the hell is actually going on in just the undercard fight in just the undercard fights you can't even actually see what's going on because it's constantly buffering the fucking app is fucking crashing and the entire time i'm wondering is it my is it my tv is it my internet connection i don't know what the hell is going on i'm trying to make shit fucking work i'm starting to get a fucking headache from all this shit and then finally as soon as it starts actually kind of working at certain points the audio cuts off for no fucking reason so i end up fucking having to leave the fight and then starting to re restart it and restarting and restarting and restarting restart and restart and restart and restart and restart and restart, restart, restart Start, restart, restart. And then all of a sudden, the, the whole fucking thing just decides to shit itself even more, and the quality drops from like a crisp like 4K stream to all the way down to like 2P, and you can't even see what the fuck is happening. The quality of the stream goes from the crisp 4K footage that you want to see from this fucking fight that we all are paying to fucking see to having quality worse than Mike Tyson's Punch Out, a fucking video game from the 19 fucking 80s. So you can't even tell what's actually going on this is actually only happening in just the undercard fights you still can't make out what's going on finally gets to the main event they're about to fight but even before we get to the main event we all get fucking jump scared when mike tyson's bare ass right in front of the camera and he get after he gets interviewed by his fucking son absolute insanity twitter has, has a fucking field day with that which immediately honestly after everything that was the highlight of the fucking night after everything that happened that was the highlight of the night and i can't even be mad at it because at least it was it, at least there was some enjoyability to it because i had something to actually laugh at because we well, because what we ended up actually getting was absolutely fucking embarrassing it was a fucking travesty that the whole fight was an absolute fucking embarrassment. I couldn't believe it. I fucking couldn't actually believe that that was the fight that we ended up getting. Some fucking dude says, I think we got the wrong, he got the wrong link for the fight, for the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight, and it's the fucking me's fighting and we boxing. But no, I would have rather watched that. I would have rather had watched someone play Mike Tyson's punch out from 1980 fucking seven than the fight that we got last night because it was an absolute fucking embarrassment. What ended up happening was that 
that Mike Tyson goes out there. He throws like a few, he throws a few punches. He lands like 19 of them. He's moving around. He's kind of actually decently fast. It looks like he might actually stand a fucking chance, but he doesn't do shit. He doesn't do anything. He just stands there in the ring and he's biting on his glove the whole fucking time because after the fight is over, after the fight is over, he literally says that he the entire time he has he was biting his glove because he has a fucking biting fixation and just it was it was just it was so it was so aggravating it was such a fucking embarrassment i, I wasn't even expecting tyson to win right because you know fair enough right he's an older guy he's 58 years old he's almost 60 but the entire time as i'm watching it it's just sad it's just fucking sad i'm watching this almost 60 year old man get his fucking ass beat by a guy 30 years fucking younger than him who doesn't even actually fight real boxers he's in a sport where he doesn't even actually fight people who are actively participating in that fucking sport and that combat sport he doesn't fight boxers the one time he did he fucking lost and you want to tell me that he deserves a shot against mike tyson of all fucking people i don't give a shit that he's almost fucking 60 the fact that he was even in the same ring as a legend in the boxing scene is an absolute goddamn travesty this whole thing was an absolute fucking embarrassment i can't I can't believe that, uh, that I actually wasted my fucking time watching this shit. If I had, if I could, I so desperately wish that I had one of those fucking Neuralizer things from the Men in Black movies. I wish I had one of those so I could just constantly keep flashing myself so I could forget everything that happened last night. It was terrible. I fucking hated it. It was all awful. I'm not even going to edit this fucking video. I don't even give a shit. You just get this raw uncut rant because that's all I can muster up. I don't even give a shit. This was a fucking travesty. This was embarrassing. It was just sad. I can't believe I fucking watched this goddamn fight. Netflix single-handedly resurrected cable TV la last night. Fucking there's this tweet but The Undertaker found it. A whole bunch of fucking memes. Goddamn Rikishi doing the fucking stink face because that's pretty much what happened when mike tyson's bare ass showed up on the fucking stream this is mike tyson's bare ass just right there for everyone to fucking see all these memes the memes are at least fucking funny you know the memes are funny at least but all i got what i what i rather had preferred was jake paul versus beetlejuice right it would have been just as bad but at least it would have been entertaining because it's fucking beetlejuice oh my god i hated this Fuck the fuck future Jake Paul fights. I'm never watching them. I'm not giving them the fucking time of day. I just Jake Paul go fuck yourself. Honestly, just go fuck yourself. Fuck this shit. I'm so fucking tired of this. Drop that